Let's learn about scope. So to explain scope, I'm going to be creating two functions. Here I've set up two functions. At the top, I defined x as 1, and then in the first function, I printed x as well as in the second function. After that, I ran both of the functions. So we already know what this will do. It's going to print 1 twice. As you can see, the script printed 1 twice on line 4 and on line 8. Looking back at the script, on line 4, we printed x, and on line 8, we also printed x. Now if I were to take this local x equals 1 and just move it into this function right here, this x down here is actually underlined. If I run this, it's going to print 1 and nil. If you remember from earlier in the video, nil means nothing. It's the script's way of saying, I don't know what to put here, I'm just going to put no value. Along with that, before we run the script, it's also telling us that it doesn't know what x means. So you might be wondering why this happens, because we did define x as 1, but for some reason, this function is unable to pick that up. Well, scope kind of works like this. Whatever happens inside this function will stay in this function, and that's because of the word local. We've been writing local this whole time, not really knowing what it means, but now we're learning about scope. So let's dive into that. When I define x inside this function and the script reaches line 5, it deletes what it learned inside line 2 and 3. When I define x equals 1 in the script using the local keyword, the script deletes everything from inside this function that it knows on line 5. Once it reaches line 5, it doesn't know what happened on line 2 and 3. That's why when the script reaches line 7, it doesn't know what x means. However, if I were to remove the local keyword, as you can see the script now know what x means, and if I run the game, it's going to print 1 twice. Just like that, the script printed 1 twice. That's pretty much all there is to scope. One more thing to mention is that when you have a variable at the top of your script, just like this, the entire script can access that variable. So it doesn't matter if it's local or not, the entire script is able to access that variable because it's not inside of a block of code. It's not inside of a function, a loop, or an if statement. 